Okay, so this is how I change the piston in a Ponte Vecchio Lusso. I have a couple of pieces of board, nothing fancy, just a scrap bit of board with some tape around it and a hole. The hole will become apparent in a minute. So you place the board onto the base of the machine, taking the drip tray out directly under the piston. The second part I've got, and this is something, it's a, a jig from a fixing um, that I just happened to have around, but you can see the principle. This is basically a threaded bar with a nut on it. It's an M12 nut. The bottom of the, the, bottom of the screw goes into the base and the rest sits directly under the filter itself. There's some PVA tape on the top to stop it scratching. So I'll wind this up until it's in the middle of the piston, like that. And then with a spanner, I carefully So I'll carefully, first of all, remove the filter screen. That would help. So I take my trusty fork and just pop the filter screen out. It's not a hard job, it doesn't damage it at all with the end of a fork. I'm back to the piston again. to screw this probably three or four times just to take the pressure off the kingpin at the top of the unit. That should be enough. Okay, I've taken the little circ clips out. I can now take the top pin out, followed by the second pin. That's now released the handle from the top of the piston. And now you just undo the bolt in the same way. Well, actually it's the opposite way. Until you've released the pressure of the spring. It's a very simple way of doing it. I know people talk about doing it with G-cramps and all sorts of things. Well, I've tried it with a G-cramp. It's a little bit precarious and the thing moves around and you could also do two people when you're doing it that way. This way is very simple. As long as everything lines up, it's a one-man job or a one-woman job, whichever way around. And as you can see now, let's get into the bottom. There's a little bit of water that will come out of this as well. As you can see, I'm able to do it with my hand now. So that's it, all the pressure is now off the piston itself. So I can take off the jig, and then a little bit of pressure, and I can pull the piston out of the housing. Okay, there we have one piston with the seals, and also the main spring as well. Assembly is exactly the same. You clean everything up, put some molly coat grease on it to stop any um, squealing, to lube it up, and then you just assemble it in the same way.